they get to me, I'm just gonna creep. Well, apparently this is a thing, so... These are comics decided to make a... A, uh, a big hit. Yeah, they're gonna make a big hit with this comic. They're gonna make some called Gotham High. is a comic book series that they're gonna make without superheroes. Instead, everyone is being replaced by, instead of superheroes, it's high school students in high school with the same names. Except they won't be. Instead of Batman, it's Bruce Wayne that's also Asian. Then instead of the Joker, we have Jack Napier, which is a high school student that's also fighting capitalism because he's part of Antifa. And apparently Selena Kyle wants to have a fucking threesome with all of them. She wants to have a, th wants to have a threesome with Bruce and the Joker, which and that doesn't make any freaking sense considering uh, why would Selena Kyle ever sleep with the Joker? She would fucking kill herself instead. Batman ruined Asian Bruce, A N T I S A Joker and Selena in poly relationship. This is the most retarded thing I've ever seen, dude. This is so gonna, this is so gonna sell a lot of. This is gonna, this thing is gonna make bank. I'm being sarcastic. This is not gonna make a lot of money, especially during the pandemic. Who the fuck is gonna go to a comic book store right now and just be like? <sighs> Listen, man, I'm sick. I'm dying. Can I have this Gotham High poster or c comic book? I'm, I'm real. I need it, man. You don't understand. It's the cure to Corona, my guy. And apparently, what the heck? Okay, this is new. Apparently, Alfred is flamboyantly gay. DC have officially caved to demand of a few to diversify the characters of Batman. Meet anti-capitalist Joker, Chinese Bruce Wayne and openly gay elf DC seems to follow in Marvel's footsteps by making sure their heroes are diverse enough. For modern comics only they didn't create new characters, they changed the classic Batman characters. You know, I thought DC Comics had their, uh, had their shit getting deal with, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, you got Marvel Comics over here being like, you're like wondering why we're losing all this money. Meanwhile, DC on their hand are like, hey, we know what our fans like until we don't, you know what I mean? They turned Batman into a fucking Gossip Girl magazine. Am, am I wrong here, man? And yes, I'm using text to speech because I can't read fast. The new DC comic Gotham High is described by the author, Melissa De La Cruz, as a mix between Batman and Gossip Girl, but only more LGBTQ friendly. Illustrated by Thomas Petilli, this graphic novel depicts Bruce Wayne as a famous Instagram model who has a super powerful and wealthy mother, the Joker as an anti-fascist, anti-capitalist hero, and Alfred as an out loud and proud homosexual. The trailer teasers a hot and heavy love triangle between Chinese Bruce Wayne, seemingly bisexual Jack Napier, Joker, and Selena Kyle. The story even hints at a poly relationship between the trio and a pansexual orgy, where Bruce Wayne and Joker abandon their own sexuality in a moment of heat. Okay, so apparently Joker and Batman decide to fuck each other as well. Why? Why? <laughs> Mortal Enemy is becoming... Butt buddies. Just imagine, in a, in a, in the recent Batman comic, not this one, be all like, Joker is fighting Batman or Batman's fighting Joker, to the point where, oh, they're bleeding out, guts are flying everywhere, or something like that. Next you know, they start banging each other, for no reason. Damian Wayne's in the back of me like, what is going on, this, what is this? How, how did this happen? Catwoman is vomiting in the back, Nightwing is, is gouges his eyes out. Oh yeah, apparently the author, writer, what do you want to call this person that made this comic, doesn't even know anything about Batman. So apparently DCs are like, hey, you don't know anything about Batman? Go right ahead, here you go, man, just, just here you go, write your own book. Write your own book with these characters, you know, something you don't know anything about. This will definitely sell. This will sell like hotcakes, my guy. It's so crazy. Melissa De La Cruz, who admittedly knows nothing about Batman, suggested that she just wants to abolish heteronormativity from comics that allegedly encourage toxic masculinity. This will definitely eliminate toxic masculinity, my guy, by losing money. It's, it's crazy, man. How to eliminate the toxic masculinity of men? I don't know. Get fired? And start losing money. In Gotham High, it's Bruce's mother who is wealthy, not his father, and this time the Joker is the good guy because of his anti-capitalist views. Man, Joker with his anti-capitalist ways. He's such a hero. It's not like the Joker in all the other comics decide to, you know, kill innocent people because he's the Joker. Who cares, dude? He cuts people's faces off. He, he, he 
does that to them, you know, just kill them all, making everything laugh, to the point Batman, like, grinds his teeth at the point it cracks. Why? Because Joker does what he wants, because he's a fucking loser and a psychopath, but now, he's a hero. Because he's anti-capitalist. You remember when all these, uh, retards, all right, these, these, these critics, these retards, right, they're all like, they all bombed to fucking, um, uh, the, they called everyone on the news, right, kept saying, if you went to go see the movie Joker, you're gonna shoot up the place. You're, you're, you're a school shooter and whatnot. But now, but now, the Joker, he is a hero because he's anti-capitalist. Pick a side, you losers, gee. The Joker is a hero because he fights capitalism according to Bounding into Comics. It's not just Batman and Bruce Wayne that are being radically altered, but Joker is as well. Look at this picture. How, this looks nothing like the Joker. It just shows uh, Jack Napier with a $10 bill, but like, boom. $10 bill. We need to give this to everyone equally. Communism, socialism, this will work definitely, my guy. Cause I'm the Joker, baby. I make bad jokes and apparently people follow me for that shit. But Billy explains, there's so much of that Instagram culture and social media culture with teens today. So I tried to interject that into the style and look of the characters, specifically with the Joker character. He added, he was the hardest character to visualize and design, because he's not your average villain. He's almost not a villain at all, in a way. He goes back and forth, where you sympathize with him sometimes and sometimes you see him as a villain. So I wanted to give him a look that played off both sides of his personality. Yeah, only sometimes he's a villain, you know. It's not like he, uh... What's all the crimes he did as the Joker? All right, all of them. I mean, even look at the trailer. How they how they do the trailer for, to advertise this 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 Gossip Girl magazine. Look at this. Welcome to Gotham High, where everyone worships the rich and the beautiful, and no one is richer or more handsome than Bruce Wayne. He doesn't have friends. He has followers. My friend Jack Napier has nothing to his name, except good looks and a wicked sense of humor. The problem is that I love them both. I'm Selena Kyle, that girl next door. And in my opinion, a triangle is a perfect shape. Man, this really makes me want to buy the comic. It, dude, I want to do it so badly, man. But here's the thing, I'm in quarantine, and I don't want to go outside and fucking catch the... The, the newly formed AIDS or something like that, my guy. Rush into a comic book store. Hey man, I'm bleeding out. Could you help help me out? You know, here's some here's a here's a twenty dollar bill uh, to, to pay for this freaking magazine, my guy. Oh yeah, now you have it too, because I just passed it to you. Not gonna happen, my guy. In the same interview, Patilli admits that he modeled the new Joker after himself, especially based on his own looks, but possibly personality and political ideology as well. That's where we know what Joker's all about. Joker's all about politics. No, he isn't. Joker's a fucking retard. Jo Joker's all like, Joker's a sad man that fell into a bat of acid. Next you know, he came out crazy. Who would have known? Just one bad day, then you turn into the Joker, my guy. Or, become an anti-capitalist. What sounds better? <laughs> oh, and apparently, apparently, they, they got weird with that. They're all like, you know what? Bruce Wayne, Batman, let's make him Asian. Why? Cause I don't fucking know, dude. They're all like, you know, instead of him from Gotham City, with, with Thomas Wayne, the doctor, and Martha Wayne, the wife that does things with the pearls and shit, Goes home from seeing um, Zorro in theaters or a play. Oh crap, There, there's Joe Chill with the gun. Nope, it's nothing like that. Except with just the mother being killed and that was it. Also, they're from Hong Kong. Alright, and apparently fucking Alfred is flamboyantly homosexual. Not just gay, like, I'm just gay, dude. Who, who cares, man? No one's gonna bring this up again, but because I'm gay, dude. Like, who cares? No, no, he's like, constantly like, Hey, Brucey! Master Bruce! Can I change your diaper? Bruce Wayne is from Hong Kong. 
Melissa de la Cruz, who is not a Batman fan, claimed that the Batman origin story was changed to resemble her past. There's been a big influx of wealthy Chinese people who moved from Hong Kong to Arcadia in Los Angeles, and that's where my mom lives. I'm part Chinese, my brother lives in Hong Kong, so I thought it would be great to put what I know into Bruce Wayne. I just wanted him to be a little bit more representative of my background and giving him an authentic family. Furthermore, Bruce Wayne learns how to become a proper man from listening to his mother and eventually learns to abandon his toxic wit. Cause all we know is that Batman's always about being toxic. You know, being a fucking vigilante and beating the shit out of criminals until they have a brain hemorrhage and shit without killing them. Being known to be like feared by every criminal on the street in Gotham City. Oh, but no. No, he's got to stop being toxic. That's how it is, my guy. Master Bruce, you've got to stop being so toxic. It's killing your image. You've got to be flamboyant and shit. Alfred is a flamboyant homosexual. She has, though, admitted that Alfred will be openly gay. Alfred is not just his butler, but also his uncle, his gay uncle, from Hong Kong. It gives it this fabulous crazy rich Asian sheen to it, Melissa de la Cruz declared. Founding into comics was right to point out that the new comic is essentially pandering to the LGBTQ community. As Patilly said, it breathes new life into the character, especially in today's world, since we're living in the most diverse world we've probably ever lived in, so it's more representative of Batman in 2020. Patilly explains that it was his teenage loneliness and depression that helped shape these newly imagined Batman characters, and since he's a teenager, I tried my best to put a little bit of myself into the character as well, channeling those feelings of being an adolescent and feeling like an outsider. I definitely wasn't a billionaire, but oftentimes I felt very separated from everyone else around me. Fucking tank, dude. Dude, first issue, gone. No one's gonna buy any of this shit. It's fucking terrible. Uh, maybe the Raylos will buy it. Fucking only five of them, though, because they don't do Batman shit. Just imagine, you go to see Batman movie. Alright, the new Batman movie with... With the Twilight guy, right? And next you know, oh shit, there goes Batman revealing his identity to his partner for the 50th time. Oh shit. Next you know, you take he has a second mask on, takes it off. He went from fucking uh, dude from Twilight to just a random black dude that's also trans and gay, if that makes any fucking sense. <laughs> next you know, he changes his name from Batman to Gay Man. I don't know. Fucking... Mm, spitballing here man it's like people will be pissed off just changing it because why not my guy because it's like the director is gonna be all like you know what i got bored hey let's change the name from batman to gay man that, that, that's a perfect idea hey hey you batman bruce wayne you're no longer batman get out of here we're no longer making a batman movie next you know only the first scene was about batman the rest is just about fucking love or romance or some shit. That has nothing to do with what was in the trailer whatsoever. Yeah, people will be pissed off. Man, a superhero comic? Let's just not do that. Apparently there are no... Cisgendered white male heroes in this story. Everyone's gay! Cause why not, dude? Just why not? Fucking, we got Joker and Batman butt-fucking each other because, dude, no one cares. No sis, gendered white male heroes. When asked on what her inspiration for this story was, De La Cruz revealed that she wanted the Gotham High to be like a modern and more diverse version of Gossip Girl, where Bruce Wayne is a depressed teen still trying to find his identity while being adored by the rest of the school. Patilly and De La Cruz revealed they have plans to further diversify the newly reimagined Batman characters. We have big plans for Poison Ivy and Harvey, they revealed. But it seems as though there are no real plans on making introducing any cis gendered white men into the new universe. Yeah, fuck you, white men. White man bad. Fuck you, straight people, too. Y'all deserve to go fucking hell, you stupid piece of shit. You fucking losers. You, y'all white people. You fucking white people. Go, go cry in the corner, little white people. Wow, this is really, really nice. Just imagine if the roles were reversed, saying like. Actually, no, I don't want to say that, or else I will be taken out of context and viewed as some mouse and don't want to do that, so no thank you. I love how it's always like, or I love how all this shit is always like, oh, you, you can't be racist to white people. Meanwhile, everyone 
Ev and I mean everyone's all like, you fucking straight person, you fucking cis straight white male, you little, you fucking whites. Go back to your fucking house, you fucking white. What is this shit? What is this? Why is everything decided to roll around by you stupid fucking white people? Go back to your fucking hole. You're white. No one likes you. Why? Why is all the fucking industries, dude? The corporations, the fucking millionaire shit, fucking doubling down this whole. You know what? This is a great way to invest, my guy. Put this shit everywhere, my guy. You know, white people bad. White men bad. Men are bad. If you're straight, fuck you. If you're white, you're born white. Fuck you, dude. Nothing, nothing great about you at all, dude. Fucking white YouTuber. Fuck him, dude. Yeah, fuck you, whitey. Fucking white piece of shit. Uh, so imagine the roles were reversed. Oh. Fucking field day. What I think about this, I think this is gonna fail the fucking first time it releases. No one's gonna buy this. If they do, wow. Wow. I will be wrong. Like, <laughs> just imagine this sells great. Like, like all the DC comic guys are like, hey, this is actually pretty good. Fucking while jerking off to fucking Selena Kyle, you're like, hey man, I guess just imagine, like, uh, like just imagine, right? You sell the worst product in the world and it sells the most on the stock market. That would be crazy. Just imagine you, um, just imagine this, right? You go in your freezer, right? You somehow froze it in orange and the orange is like rotten and shit. You fucking put in a Ziploc bag, and then you go up to fucking random ass people, or no, not random ass people, you go up to Shark Tank, right? You're all like, I have a new investment, and everyone's all like, let's see what this investment is. You know it's gonna tank, but then you just fucking show them this rotten orange in a Ziploc bag that's leaking and it smells. Do you know what all the Shark Tank people say? You think they're just saying, get out, this is stupid, get out, this is a joke. No, they say, I am highly invested in this, please. I want to invest. Give me all the money. I'm. I want ten percent, dude. You, dude, dude, get that money, son. And then apparently this this rotten orange. There's only one, by the way. Just sells like millions and billions of dollars. You don't expect it to happen, but it does. I mean, people. This one guy on fucking GoFundMe decided just to post. Hey man, I need money to make a uh, make a um potato salad. Dude made fucking twenty five thousand dollars. Just for that. I- The stupidest things make the most money for some reason. Don't know how, it just does. I'm out. See ya.